Hi guys, welcome back to your automation learning channel and my name is Chirag. Today we are going to discuss about how we can execute our APM test script with test ng. So APM becomes a more stronger when it will combine with our test ng unit framework. So we can use test ng framework and we can use that framework in our mobile automation by using APM. So the combination of these two tools or our APM tool and our test ng framework is a very good when we are talking about uh, we will run our test scripts in a suit we will run our test scripts in parallel way so this is a good and mostly company are using APM with a test ng framework so in this video I'm just going to show you a real scenario how we can use APM with test ng and what would be the scenario and what is the use of test ng with APM as you can see test ng is a unit framework which is inspired from n unit and j unit and it has a many powerful features which we already discussed in my test ng playlist if you go and watch there would be a test ng selenium 3 with test ng framework in this uh, playlist i already discussed about test ng introduction second how to set up test ng and i run a test ng script and after that is the test tutorial or this video which has started from test ng there all are the test ng videos which is related with test ng unit framework right so let me discuss what is the use of test ng with apm as you can already know that test ng is a very famous unit framework and it is used in selenium so it can do what you are wanna to do in automation so we are using a test ng with apm because we wanna to run our test scheme parallel we wanna to run our test skip by using the different data so we will use data provider in apm tool and we need to run our test script from test ng suit so by using this test ng we are easy to maintain our test script we can run our test script in a such a way which we want we can give a priority we can set enable and disable to our test script so there are many features by which we can use that those feature with apm and we make our apm tool more powerful right so in this video i'm just going to show you how we can invoke our application by using test ng and after that we will run a, a scenario which we already discussed and after that we use tear down method how we can tear down and we will discuss about the report of test ng right so let me open my clips and we will start coding so in this video i'm just going to take a tutorial 18 code because i already discussed a scenario in this uh, in this video i just introduced test ng with apm so i'm not going to discuss or create a new scenario or just going to fetch out uh, mobile element and make this video longer i just wanted to keep this video short so i'm using a code which is we already discussed in tutorial 18 because we want to keep our focus how we can combine test ng framework with apm so let me create a new 
tutorial that would will be a 24 tutorial just let me change its commands and this is script for apm with test ng so guys those who do not have any idea about test ng please go and watch my selenium 3 with test ng framework and in this test ng framework you can see my uh, video which is related with test ng and i discussed about the power of test ng and in this video i just going to show how we can combine our test script with test ng apm test script with test ng right so this is my code i copy and i'm going to paste here okay yes so what would be the scenario so it depends how we are invoking our application sometimes we need to invoke our application with our every method right and sometimes we have to invoke our application uh, what does mean invoke invoke means i am just launching my application so let me open this and if i double tap so this invoked my application right so it depends our scenario mostly scenario we will do we will just invoke or launch our application for every test case or test script right so it depends sometimes we if we have a lengthy test scenario so we will create a one class for a one test case if we have a small scenarios so what we do we just invoke our application one time and we just suppose there is a search fun functionality which we need to test so we invoke our log application then we just log into application we on the dashboard we just search our um, features and we sign out right so this all three scenario would be kept in one class and for that we are launching our application in once a time right so such scenario would be you can say we will use before class method which is given by a uh, test ng before class means this method will invoke before class right so what I'm going to do, I'm just invoke my application uh, before a class. So after that, here what I'm going to do, let me, this is my main test. So I'm giving a test over here. And after that, these are before, after class right so what i'm doing here suppose there is a login right uh, in my test uh, um, in this scenario there would be none, no login suppose there is a login right so what i'm going to show you that suppose there is a before class and there is a login so my if i use a before method over here that my test uh, my application will launch with every method right suppose there is a login so it will invoke before login after that uh, in such uh, functionality it will again invoke right so we do not want that we want that my application will invoke once then test script would do login then test script would do such uh, functionality and test script will do log out from the functionality and after that my scenario has been completed after that it just quit my application for another test case it would do the same 
so at that time we we will use before class right and after this uh, after test and this uh, after class so this is all about the test ng right how we can run test ng in my previous video i discussed about how we can learn test ng framework by using this test dot xml but in this i am just going to show you how we will invoke our test script by right clicking on and run as a test ng right so let me run and we will see before running that we will should see whether my apm server is started or not let me see and yes it is started already so let me run this script through test ng you can see test ng test so i just clicked that let me open my mobile or emulator so right now it is creating a session and after that my application will invoke you can see my application has been invoked and it is running fine and here it is pasting uh, typing a uh, india right now it will select india awesome and my test case will pass right so this is my output let me open so you can see that my test case has been passed it has been passed you can see one test case is run might one test run and it will pass successfully so it's all about a test ng if let me just refresh this and will see what would be the index dot this index is the by default report which generate in test ng so we can see that so you can see the report is generated if i click on one test so you can see the setup is run first after that this test case is main after that tear down right and you can see that my test script has been passed over this so this is all the report right so this report is generated by test ng report default report but in coming video we will see extend report we will see report ng we will design our own report so in this video i just wanted to show you how we will run our script through test ng and hopefully you understand how we will run and hopefully you understand the scenario why i am using before class here i can use uh, before method over here but before method will not fulfill my requirement so i am using a before class so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you like this video and you like my work if you like my work please subscribe my channel and share my video with your friends colleagues and if you have any comments any suggestion please provide me so that i can improve my work and it i will create more effective video for you and try to fulfill which my you can say you are give me a suggestion so i'm trying to fulfill all their suggestion and thank you for watching this video bye bye take care